Hello everyone. Years ago, I would speak to a witch. At first, I did not know she was a witch. And if I remember correctly, something kept on coming to my mind. She is a witch. She is a witch. And I would question her about that. And of course, she denied it like I can't really say a bunch of times but I would ask her day after day pretty much and she finally admitted to it and even though I knew she was a witch I would <laughs> try to teach her about God and pray with her and I believe I got her to pray with me or I prayed for her maybe once or twice when I would talk to her and I believe we read the Bible together once or twice too but it was like she had more than one personality it was really really strange like maybe every two months for like a week or so she would be really really kind if i am saying that right maybe every two months for a week but other days many times she would be really really rude and i spoke to her off and on maybe for about three or four years some people would say oh man you know why are you talking to a witch blah 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 i find witches not that i find but witches are people too they have feelings too and from my understanding from what i understand i guess i believe many people turn to witchcraft because of some type of pain some type of pain some type of suffering so i stopped talking to her maybe back in 2016 or 2017 and I learned there is another person that is a possible witch, which I believe she is a witch. And her personality, as it seems, is so similar to the last witch I used to speak with. I guess last known witch, I guess, that I used to speak to. Aggressive, narcissistic, self-absorbed, hypocritical, uh, prideful, like, you name it. And I was texting her trying to understand where she is coming from. Irrational thinking. Irrational. And I was asking her, why this, why that? Like, what did I do? Irrational thinking. And I pretty much told her through text, Don't you know you are heading down a road to destruction? Don't you know you are going to reap what you sow? Yes, you may be able to do, do this. You may be able to do, do that. But you are going to pay. And... 
she pretty much wasn't trying to take heed to what I was trying to say. And I text her some more stuff because I know some things about her life. You know, I was pointing out she did not, I don't think she read it yet, but I told her about this, like, why is your life like this here? Why is your life like that there? You are trying to, as it seems to me, probably trying to harm people, but look at your life. Like, isn't it coming back upon you? That is the thing about trying to curse people, trying to ruin someone's life. And I thank God for the law of reaping and sowing because it touches everybody. No matter if you are rich, poor, witch, Buddhist, atheist, whomever, you will reap what you sow. So it doesn't make sense to me, or it should not make sense to anyone, to be a witch. You can get revenge, but what is going to happen to you? Have you thought about that? You can curse this person, you can curse that person, but isn't it going to come back upon you? You may be able to get money. And that person I was communicating with is very poor. What is witchcraft doing for you if she is a witch? What is it doing for you? What are you gaining? Look at your life. What good is in your life if you are doing witchcraft? To me, if I were to do witchcraft, let the devil give me so much money on this earth. Let the devil give me so much possessions on this earth if I am going to do witchcraft. I am not going to do witchcraft and be poor. Makes no sense makes absolutely no sense. I am suffering. I am going through hard times and I am going to work for the devil? No way. Senseless. And even if the devil gives you so much stuff, it is not even worth it. Whether you hate God or believe there is no God, you still have to go by his rules. Reaping and sowing is one of his principles. No one can escape it. I told her, you may hate me, but I love you. I am not going to hate you. You can tell me that you are doing this to me and doing that to me, but I love you. I don't hate you. Why should, like, you are falling for the trap from demons. Why should I fall in that same trap by hating you, by not forgiving you? Who is actually winning if I hate you while you are doing whatever to me? Who wins? I believe demons. So let me show you love through your, I guess, hate toward me. Hating me for what? What did I do to you? Well, Kevin, blah, 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 blah. That is irrational. I showed you kindness. 
I gave to you, blah, 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 blah. Witchcraft makes no sense. You don't really benefit what you are doing. You are sacrificing so much for so little. Even if Satan gives you billions of dollars, is that worth dying, going to hell, then to the lake of fire? It is not. Even if you can get many dresses, many suits, many shoes, or TVs, dying in sin for possessions isn't worth it. So I have the opportunity to continue contacting her. Maybe <laughs> my messages of God may not penetrate her, but I am going to try. Why should I be afraid of her? Now, maybe I would be afraid if I am doing wrong, I am doing evil, and I have a heart to not serve God. Maybe then I should be afraid. But if I am trying to live for Jesus Christ, have a heart to strive for perfection, I know I am protected. Witches are people too. Deceived people perhaps, but people indeed. Don't be a witch because there was a woman and I used to speak with her to a different woman and she was from a different country, a European country. And she told me that she is an ex-witch. She told me when she was younger she was doing that witchcraft stuff. And at that time, when I would talk to her, my Lord, she was going through so many problems. Oh, my Lord. Like problem after problem after problem after problem. And I believe she told me she thinks one of the reasons why she is going through so much because of what she did in the past and because demons want her to go back, go back to her old ways. Don't play with witchcraft. I am telling you, I spoke to that woman so much. Like she had health problems, children prop, like too much, too much stuff was going on. I felt very sorry for her. You don't have to go through that. There is another woman, woman, and I heard a story of her. She was doing that witchcraft stuff. But toward the end, she got very, 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 very sick. To where she had to be taken care of by her family. And she could not take care of herself. Died a very painful, miserable life. Death. Did I say that right? She died a very... She died... Before she died, it was miserable, painful, bad. Bad. For what? For money? Popularity? What? Is that worth it?
I heard another story about a man that would do this and that. That man had a very, like toward the end, his life was very bad. The devil has nothing good for you. He may show you something, but with the devil, there is a price. Since he is not God, the price is going to be bad for you and or your family, I believe. So he may give you some trinkets, but what good is that going to do for you if your daughter gets cursed, your mother, your father, your son? Like, is it really worth it? Stay away from that. Stay away from witchcraft. Like, as it seemed like the witch, which I believe she is a witch, the witch that I was texting, to me, it seemed like she is prideful in it. Like, she's really doing something. Like, yes, yes, I'm doing this. It is not going to work out, yes. I was thinking, I don't know everything of the Bible, but I know some principles. And while she was telling me those things, I believe I was thinking it is not going to work out for you because all I have to do is pray, pray, <laughs> pray, pray. Look, myself, I have been through so many problems, probably problems larger than this. Not saying I am this top elite soldier of God, no. But I know how to strive through. I know how to break through with the grace of God. So she may be trying to do this, trying to do that, but what is the use? In the end, I believe it is going to hurt her. If something happens to her, because I believe she told me she has been doing, she been having powers for years or whatever. I believe she has been paying and will pay more. You can't curse no one and expect blessings to come your way, even though I believe God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. But I believe the day will come where she will get repaid. No matter, I believe some people go into witchcraft because of abuse. I believe some reasons are abuse, mistreatment, lack of love, lack of concern, meaning like uh, maybe that person did not get too much care or too much love or too much abuse or whatever else like that. She is not going to succeed. She is not. Like that witch I used to speak to years ago. Now, I believe she tried to do some stuff to me. And in the end, it did not work. I am still alive. I am still here. What I did back then, I prayed, fasted, maybe. I think I fasted. Prayed, 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 prayed. And I broke through, through the grace of God, with the grace of God. So what about now? Also, let me say it like this too. 
I may be wrong about this. When bad things happen, don't only look at it in a bad way. I believe from the exterior, some things may look bad, but I believe God can use it for his purposes. So what I may be going through is bad, but something good can turn from it. I hope this is making sense. Is it making sense to you? Years ago, I was going through something bad, but huh, so many good things came from it, my Lord. So many. So I was thinking, in a sense, this thing is bad, but in a sense, I was asking myself, I believe, what is God trying to do? Let me not just look at the bad side. Hello? Hello? Let me not look at the bad side, but let me look at the good opportunities. Yes, this is happening. That is happening. Okay, bad things are happening. But what good can come out of this situation while bad things are happening? Please listen to what I am saying. Please listen to what I am saying. I believe nothing happens by coincidence. A witch may be doing this or that to you, but look it, look at it in another way. Why is God allowing this? What is he trying to do? Am I in sin? Is God using this evil person to purge me? Purge the bad qualities within me? Is God trying to draw me near? Oh, man. I hope this makes sense. So I am not so much concerned about that potential witch. What can she do? Yeah, she may be able to do this and do that. She may be able to twist things. But will she win the war? She may win a battle or not even going to say a battle. She may throw missiles at me. But is she going to win the war? I don't think so. So I pray this all makes sense. Stay encouraged. Stay blessed. God bless you.